Yo, what's going on fam? Welcome to the video. Hope you guys are having a great day. And if you're thinking about going vegetarian, going vegan, this video is for you because I'm gonna break it down, my experience and the pros and cons of going vegetarian. Yo, what's going on YouTube? My name is Ty Fam, and welcome back to my channel. If you don't know me, I help the modern Asian American man become more confident, outgoing, and athletic. And in today's video, I'm gonna give you my take on the vegetarian diet, on the vegan diet, and my experience over the last week of going meatless and going dairy free. Now I'm gonna give you my pros, my cons. So let me set you down and let's get talking. So before we even get to the video, I have something to say. I have a big announcement and I have a question for you guys. So as you know, I help coach dozens of men. Majority of them are Asian American, but I have gotten a lot of requests from Instagram on TikTok to build a program just for women. And I wanna know, would you wanna see that? If you do, make sure you like this video. Let me know, where are you coming from? Did you hear me from TikTok, Instagram, Facebook? And if you wanna see something like this, because I am building it at the moment and it should be done within the next week. So let me know in the comments down below. Give us a like and let me know what you wanna see. All right guys, so I went vegan and vegetarian for a whole week, you know what I mean? And it was a great experience. Don't get me wrong, it was life-changing. I'm more open-minded to food choices i'm able to look at food and say hey is this going to be good for my body am i going to get enough energy from this am i going to be fueled throughout the day and honestly i felt really really good and i'm gonna go through the pros in a little bit but here's the experience throughout the whole seven days i ate a lot of plant-based food and if you don't know we're in quarantine so i ate a lot of plant-based food at home a lot cooked my own meals my whole family didn't really eat with me you know what i mean so i cooked a lot of my own foods i was able to count the calories be able to control what i'm eating i ate a lot of uh, foods that normally has a lot of carbs but actually had traces of protein so I was able to get traces of protein into my diet and I focus a lot on getting a protein you know what I mean so I got this plant-based protein powder that helped me tremendously get like 50 grams of protein right off the bat and protein was an issue protein was really easy to get in actually and honestly a lot of my friends struggled to get protein or asked me hey how do I build muscle from a plant-based diet i'm like well you just need to get more protein right before doing this challenge like honestly i didn't have no idea what kind of protein sources i should be using throughout this whole challenge i got protein powder i found sources of protein and carb sources and honestly i lost weight i lost three pounds from doing this whole diet even though i was eating a lot more plants and a lot more fruits i still got a lot of protein in my diet so since we we're on the topic of protein and getting enough protein in your diet to build muscle i mean one of the biggest pros that I found was finding carb sources that have protein in it. You wouldn't think that like pasta or tortilla wraps or any other source of carbs have protein. Well, if you look hard enough, you can actually find protein in a lot of these carb sources. Derek from Cement Nutrition actually makes a lot of wraps and his wraps is actually low carbs and a bunch of protein. It had like 13 grams of carbs and like nine grams of protein. That's a lot of protein inside a wrap. Normally wraps don't have that much protein, maybe two to three grams of protein and like the carbs is like 20 grams. Another carb source that I like to use was these penne pasta that actually were made from red lentils. Normally pasta doesn't have much protein. It had like one or two grams of protein in it compared to its carbs to like 30 grams of carbs. That's a fuck ton of carbs, especially if you're eating a lot of pasta. pasta this is a great way to build muscle and to be in a caloric surplus but honestly if you're trying to build muscle on a vegetarian diet you got to be able to find carb sources that have protein so these red lentil pasta penne actually had 13 grams of protein about 24 30 grams of carbs so that was a great balance of protein compared to carbs and that really helped me get my protein jack the fuck up so let's talk about the second pro of this whole experience was weight loss i lost three pounds from not even tracking my food to the t but just having a lot more veggies compared to my carbs my whole diet consists of lettuce cabbage bell peppers all these veggies plus my other carb sources so i was more focused on getting a lot of volume compared to getting a lot more calories so if you think about it if you are eating a whole bowl of salads compared to a whole bowl of rice obviously the rice has more calories calories than the salad so you obviously lose weight it's all about calories in versus calories out so if you compare this to pasta to whole wheat pasta the whole wheat pasta is going to have less calories than the regular pasta so you lose weight because you're in a caloric deficit so i was in a caloric deficit the whole time without even knowing it because i was eating a lot more fruits a lot more veggies compared to a lot more carbs 
and all that bullshit. So that's a great way to segue into the third pro was I was able to process food faster and I felt lighter because you're eating all these veggies, you're not having so much processed shit, you're not having all this meat that takes like six to eight hours to digest. I mean, it just goes right through you. You're able to use it. I was able to work out right away. Like if I had a whole bowl of veggies and rice and beans, I would be full for a good hour and then I would be good to work out. I was able to go out, rock climb on a full stomach and I felt really, really light and I felt leaner which is crazy all this food that I was putting in my body was whole foods nothing processed nothing shitty and I felt amazing and that's how your body should operate it should operate on whole foods minimizing all the processed shit that you're having in your body and being able to use that energy source right away so let's talk about the cons of going vegetarian going vegan for a week I mean the one thing that I have in terms of the vegetarian diet or the vegan diet is that I was lacking variety in my Quack. diet. As you know, as you saw in my videos that I was eating a lot of tofu, a lot of beans, wraps, and honestly, I was getting tired of it. I was lacking variety. But if I was able to eat like Thai style or Indian style, I'll probably stay on this diet a lot longer. So the last con I have for this vegetarian diet for the last seven days was that my workouts weren't all Quack. that great compared to my normal diet of eating meat of getting more protein in, you know what I mean? And I was having trouble staying focused throughout my whole workout. I was feeling tired, I felt like giving up, and that was probably the one thing that is a huge con for me. Definitely felt lighter, but I wasn't feeling as good when I was working out. It might have been because I was in a caloric deficit, I was getting enough calories in, I just didn't feel really good working out, you know what I mean? Throughout the whole day, I was feeling great, but when I was working out, I didn't feel that awesome. All right guys, that's gonna end today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed that, I hope you got something out of this and if you're trying to go vegetarian going vegan and you're thinking about it i definitely suggest you do it i definitely recommend you try it out with that being said make sure you like this video give this a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed already subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video peace